Well, hello, friends. Uh, there have been some questions about user-defined functions, and I wanted to use one of the examples from the content section to kind of walk you through the parts of the functions and show you how each one of them is working so that you can get a little better grasp. The function that we've written have been uh, either header functions where basically we're just outputting data to the screen uh, or we've done functions uh, where we pass data in but not returned anything. And so uh, now this week we're introducing functions with uh, the whole boat, the whole trifecta. Not only do we pass data in as parameters, uh, but we have a return value for each of the each of the functions. So let's look at the example from 3.8.1.2. something. And it is this function that calculates the area of a circle. I'm going to execute it here so you can see what we do. And basically, we're going to uh, we're going to pass in a radius value. So in this case, I'm going to put in three. Uh, so the formula for the area of a circle is uh, radius squared times pi. So it's going to take the three times three times pi and should give us something on the order of 28. If I did this correctly, so we type three. And okay, we get 28.3 square inches. So let's see how this how this magic works. We have a function in the program here, and I hope you can see my pointer. Um, you can see the the function called calc circle area. And let's uh, let's look at some of the the components of this function before we see how it works. We are familiar already with the function identifier, the function name here. Uh, preceding that is the return type. And what that means is that in this case it is a float. And so every time that this function executes, uh, a float type value is returned to the calling function. So when this function is called and it executes, you can expect to receive, after it's done executing, a float type value. So that's this return value right here. This is connected to this line down here. And that's where we have our return. Now we're familiar with return zero at the end of main, and this is the same exact thing. When this is finished executing, it executes all of its lines, a value is in the variable area, and that value is returned back to the calling function, and we'll demonstrate that. So the return type, return value, and the other thing of interest here is the parameter list. Now the parameter list is very simple on this function. We have a single parameter called radius, and radius is going to receive a value uh, in from the calling function. So in order to call this function, I have to give it a value to begin work. So radius is a parameter. It'll also be a local variable to this program or to this function. So let's walk through this. We have a constant, a locally declared constant called pi 3.14159. We have a variable called area and that's our our return value here and then the single expression we have the constant pi times uh, we use a predefined function called power which raises radius uh, to the to the exponent two uh, so it's going to be radius squared so whatever value the function receives in radius is going to be put through this function here it's going to be squared then it's going to be multiplied times pi, and then through the assignment operator, assigned to the variable area. Then area is going to be returned to the calling function. So let's uh, slide down a little bit here. And here is the main function for that uh, for this program. You see that uh, we collect some data from the user. We have a couple of, of variables. And this is what we're interested in right here in this, in this line. Now, if we look at this, we see that we are calling 
the function calc circle area and we are passing the variable input radius that's what the user typed in uh, when I hit the three it went into this variable and we see it put in the parameter list now what happens when we call this function is that the value that is in input radius the value that's in that variable gets copied into radius okay so whatever values here the three in this case that is put in there the three is copied into radius and so that's how that transfer works this is a a value parameter that means that when I put a variable in place in the parameter list when I'm calling a function a copy of that data value is stored in the parameter for that function okay so track with me once more whatever value is in input radius gets copied into radius then the function executes when it's finished the return value area has the 28.3 and that value is returned and so through the assignment operator that value is put into computed area and then it gets output to the screen so let's put a uh, let's put a breakpoint here and we'll walk through these these values okay so we're going to type our three in here for our circle radius so if you're following at home hit three and so now we have some some values that that we can watch here you see input radius our variable right here has a value of three put in it computed area uh, because it didn't get initialized has garbage in it but that's okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, on on my development environment I'm going to hit F10 all right I apologize for the interruption I forgot that F10 is uh, also the hot key that stops the uh, screencasting recorder all right so here we are we are uh, prepared we, we have started executing the program we have an input a value of 3 for the variable input radius and now what we're going to do is jump into the function okay and now as we jump in here we're going to execute line by line now I'm on the line that actually does something in calc circ area and you'll see that radius has received the value of three so input radius copied its value into the parameter radius and now radius is going to provide that into the function we also see that area as of now this return value has garbage in it because it wasn't initialized uh, what I would prefer to see is float area equals zero uh, in your programs okay so the uh, the expression is going to execute now it's going to raise radius to uh, to three squared and then multiply it times pi and return that value to area so we hit F10 and so we see now that that expression processed area now contains the value of 28.27 and now the return statement is going to process so as this statement processes control returns to the calling function which in this case is may uh, in main okay so you see that computed area because we haven't left this line yet this line still has garbage in it again because it wasn't initialized but the the function has returned 28.27 so as we complete this extra uh, this statement this value the return value is going to get assigned over to computed area we hit F10 and we see that computed area down here uh, now contains a 28.27 and then on out of the program and that's that and so that's how functions that take 
parameter values. They accept incoming values and return a value work. Now some of you are asking, what do we need the function for? We could have easily uh, just place that equation right here in this place and that's correct but the reason that we write functions is to not only compartmentalize the different tasks in our program uh, but we can also utilize that function in multiple places so if the user is going to compute the the area of a number of, of circles, we would be able to call that same function without typing that code repeatedly. We would be able to simply uh, call that function over and over and over. And even better, we can file that function away in our library, in our personal function library, and the next time we need it, we can go grab it out of that library, drop it into our program, and it's done and our user defined functions become the equivalent of predefined functions. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if not, uh, leave me a question and we'll address that uh, as quickly as possible. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, talk to you soon.